Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the bell icon to be notified of any new content as and when it is uploaded to the channel. So, I want to discuss the news that Mikhail Antonio has been called up to a 60-man provisional squad, which will be whittled down to 23, ahead of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. For those of you that are not familiar with this particular tournament, it's basically the equivalent of the European Championships for nations that are in North America, Central America and in the Caribbean. And as I discussed on a video a couple of months ago, Mikhail Antonio has pledged his allegiances in international football to Jamaica. He was previously called up for a couple of squads for the England national team, the country of his birth. Uh, he unfortunately never made um, an international appearance. He never got a minute of international football for England. Therefore, he is still eligible to play for the country of his parents' birth, Jamaica. And as I say, he's now been called up for the Jamaican national squad for a 60-man provisional squad ahead of the main tournament, which will be 23-man squad. Now, for Mikhail Antonio, as I say, He's now the wrong side of 30. Sorry, Mikhail. Um, so obviously, you know, he's got an opportunity to play international football, which is a tremendous honour, whether it's for England or whether it's for Jamaica. It's a huge honour to represent, you know, a country that you have a connection with. Now, I, I, you know, I'm absolutely made up for him. You know, he's, he's a, a real character at West Ham. He's been a fantastic servant. And, you know, a real good guy comes across really well. So, you know, for him, I think it's it's an opportunity that he needs to grab with both hands. And, you know, because this opportunity might not present itself again, you know, he's, he's at a stage in his career where if he doesn't take the opportunity now, it might not present itself. Don't forget that we've got a World Cup next year as well. So if he makes the 23 man squad for the Gold Cup and he does well then there's no reason to think that he couldn't possibly, if Jamaica can manage to get to Qatar next year, that he might not be part of it. That would be an absolutely fantastic and, you know, amazing story for a guy that started his career at Tooting and Mitcham, you know, in non-league. Absolutely fantastic story. You know, there he would be in Qatar if that was to how, you know, to come to pass. So, like I say, for him... I'm really, really pleased if he can if he can get the opportunity, if, if he's part of the 23-man squad, and then going on from that, possibly finding himself at a World Cup. And to be fair, you know, if he gets into the 23-man squad, I think, it, you know, Jamaica stand a good chance. I mean, they've got a good recent pedigree. In 2015 and 2017, He um, Jamaica made the final. They were runners-up both times, unfortunately, but you know, with him in the squad, if, if they get to, get to the finals, who knows? You know, he might be he might be the little bit of uh, the difference between success and failure. Who knows? However, I then take off my personal feelings and put on my West Ham hat. And, you know, then I become a little bit worried because obviously we know that Mikel Antonio has something of a questionable injury record. You know, the hamstring issue that keeps flaring up every now and then during the course of a season and puts him out for games here, there and everywhere. Obviously, from a West Ham point of view, you know, extra games is going to be extra wear and tear on, on his already fatigued hamstrings. And obviously, you know, the, from a tiredness point of view, you know, he's going to be jumping on a plane, going across to the Caribbean, playing football, coming back. You know, there's going to be a bit of fatigue, you know, mental fatigue in, in that as well, which again, is, is something that as a West Ham fan concerns me. So I've got sort of two strands of, of thought there. You know, on the one hand for him, I, I'm absolutely, you know, really pleased for the guy and I understand he's got to do this. But from a West Ham point of view, I do think it's detrimental to West Ham, you know, as a as a team, you know, in, in both Premier League and in European competition, don't forget. So, you know, Tell me your thoughts. You've obviously got the ticker at the bottom. You've got our Twitter, our Facebook and our Instagram pages. So, you know, please do let us know your thoughts. You've got the comment section below. 
tell me what you think. You might agree that, you know, this is this is a good thing or you might think it is a bad thing. Tell us your thoughts. As I say, I've, I've got two different. I'm probably sitting on the fence a little bit, to be fair. I'm getting splinters in my backside. But as I say, on a personal point of view, I'm, I'm really, really pleased for the guy from a West Ham point of view. I'm not too sure it's it's great news for us, to be perfectly honest. But let us know your thoughts. Again, please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And hit the bell icon. And as and when the new content is uploaded to the channel, you will be notified immediately. Uh, stay safe, guys. I'm going to end it there. Only one thing left to say, and that is, come on, you irons.